Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting day because I am headed off to Spirit Halloween. I did this last year and I kind of did it vlog style just to show you guys around the store and I do a haul at the end and I'm really excited because I love Halloween as you probably all know if you've been following my channel for a while now and I'm really excited to see what they have this year. I'm wearing my Sanderson Sisters t-shirt that I bought there on clearance last year at the end of the year. I ended up getting a lot of really amazing things, including a huge Jack Skellington animatronic. So I'm hoping that they have Sally this year. And I, if they do, I'm hoping she's not too, too expensive because I really would like to get her if I could possibly afford to. <laughs> so we're headed off to Spirit Halloween and I will see you guys there. I don't see Sally. Did you find your costume, Addison? <laughs> you should do that. Which one? Look, it's like an alien holding a little boy and you just put your head in it. That's pretty funny. Out at me. Someone else has to go first. Nothing comes out of you? No. What are we supposed to be like under the water? Stand on the X. No. Standing on the X. <laughs> Nothing's happening. No, I'm scared. <laughs> Just 
supposed to wear it all the time. Pizza Planet. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't even work. <laughs> In my pouch, I have a red delicacy. I step. It doesn't work when I have my foot off. We go Hey guys, so it is seriously like four or five weeks later. You can see I now have all of my Halloween decorations on my bookshelf behind me. I went to spare at Halloween multiple times and I didn't want to share my haul with you until I was done shopping. So I had a 20% off coupon. Actually, I had multiple 20% off coupons, but it was good for one person for one item on each visit. So instead of buying a whole bunch of things and only getting 20% off of one item, I just went like, I don't know, six times and I went to a few different Spirit Halloween stores, but they all were basically set up exactly the same and had exactly the same merchandise and no one had Sally this year. Year, which was so disappointing because I was so excited to get Jack Skellington last year and I neglected to get Sally because it is a pretty expensive Halloween prop and I got Jack at the end of the season very very inexpensively so that was disappointing but I did get some other stuff now I can finally share it with you so let me show you everything that I got this year at Spirit Halloween I absolutely love this Sanderson Sisters journal. It was $7.99. I just think it's so cute. And it just says, the Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft, Salem, Massachusetts. And it's just a really cute notebook to have. Look at the inside too. So anyway, I am always taking notes and making to-do lists and we do have a Halloween party that we host every year. So I thought this would be a great book for taking notes and making shopping lists and things like that for our Halloween party. And then I can use it every year and I can reference the year before. I did that for a while with an older notebook, which I completely filled. So I thought it would be fun to have a new one to use. And then I got this plaque that has a quote by Edgar Allan Poe. And it says, deep into that dark Darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. So I'm excited to hang this up somewhere in my house. I haven't found a spot for it yet, but I just really, really like this quote. Okay, I have two more items. I really did not buy that much this year. I did buy like little um, accessories to my kids' Halloween costumes, which I'm not gonna share that with you because I don't think you'd find it very interesting. But aside from that, I really, really did not buy all that much. I didn't really need all that much because I'm obsessed with Halloween and have so many things, but I was excited to get this. So I got one of these hanging ghostly figures last year and I wanted to get a few more. I like to hang them outside and I needed a couple more. So I have this one and she's pretty creepy. Look at her eyes. And it's just this long flowy ghost and they look really cool when you hang them up outside because you can pose their arms to make them wide and the wind just blows them around. So it just looks really like hauntingly spooky. And then this was my favorite one. I know I'm looking at her in the camera and she's really creepy, but she reminds me of Coraline, the movie Coraline with the button eyes, which is why I really liked her. And she really does look very creepy. Again, she has the posable arms and look at her hands too. Bony, creepy hands. Um, her gown is a lot more like worn and ragged looking. And it's a little bit different. It's not frayed like the other one is. But again, 
once it's hanging up outside and kind of being blown around in the wind, it's going to be really neat. So that was the last item that I got. <laughs> so I'm sorry that there was like all of that buildup. Here, let me put her away. She might be freaking you guys out. <laughs> I'm sorry there was all of that buildup and I literally bought four items, but I was there multiple times and I always have so much fun when I go there. And we did, like I said, get some, you know, odds and ends for costumes. But oh, actually there's one more thing and I already have it on my shelf, which is why I forgot to show it to you guys. So this is from The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is another one of my favorite Halloween movies and it's The Deadly Nightshade and it lights up, which is really neat. So it has like a little on off switch on the bottom and you could turn it off or you could light it back up. And I just thought that was really a fun item. Another great Halloween movie, Coraline and The Nightmare Before Christmas are probably my top two. Oh, and Hocus Pocus, those three, my, my top three Halloween movies of all time. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite Halloween movie is, but those are definitely my top three. So this was really fun to add to my shelf. And I like it over here because I also have this little um, plaque with all of like these other bottles of poison and whatnot that I got from the Target dollar spot. So that's everything. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you had fun just walking through the store with me and my family and checking out all of the merchandise they have in the little haunted house that they set up that was Jaws themed this year. It was a lot of fun. I hope that you guys are all having a great week. I hope you've been enjoying all of my Vlogtober videos. They've been so much fun to make. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure that you check out my vlogtober videos if you haven't been following them have a great weekend and i will see you real soon take care bye i'm starting a new oh, yeah. i'll need a hand for one of you and a head and a foot to go any part for <laughs>